So, uh, today I'm broadcasting from Beaver, Pennsylvania. I'm at my sister's house. I finished a self-actualization weekend in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. I'll do a couple of uh, videos on what I was in Windsor for. It was my 40th high school reunion. And it's interesting because uh, everybody seems to have the same hairdresser as me because we all have the same color now after 40 years of high school. And, but the most recent weekend I did... Uh, when I asked my friend Richard, who did the class, what do you want, his common response is, is that's neat, sorry, uh, most frequent response, response was, I want to learn to uh, respond as opposed to react. And I, I think that is such a valuable skill in life. And if you look at how many times you react to situations and go out into just a habituated mode, there's something that you learn. And... Uh, if you're even somewhat conscious, you realize how, how inefficient that is. And it's uh, a worthwhile uh, pursuit. Uh, so we had to push a little bit uh, and then get Richard into a reactive mode and then let him see, you know, look for himself where he'd uh, tripped. When did the breaker switch go off to the reactive mode? And uh, I, I think it was worth, he said the weekend was worthwhile, but that was on the Monday afterwards. Uh, we talked, and he said, I, he said, you've got to find a better way to articulate this, and he's a linguist, so hopefully I'll come up with some ideas on, to see for you guys how to get this. But, again, I, the universe confuses me, life confuses me. Uh, obviously, I'm easily confused. Uh, we look at responding versus reacting, which is Nicole's book, her parenting book, Rule number one, mom has fun, how to respond in parenting as opposed to reacting uh, as you've been probably taught by your parents. But I drove from Windsor to Pennsylvania yesterday and I'm at my sister's house and uh, her 21-year-old son has gone missing. So we're sitting kind of in a vigilant sort of state waiting to see. Uh, things are being labeled all over Facebook, etc. Uh, but it's it was like when I was a chiropractor and you would start to learn the muscles of the shoulder and patients would come in with shoulder problems. And uh, here I am looking to see in probably one of the tensest situations that you can do it in. Uh, a child missing, well, he's, tw he's an adult, okay, he's 21 and that's uh, not part of the problem, it's just part of how things are. We're looking to see how to respond as opposed to react. We're sitting and uh, looking at the universe and letting it speak to us hopefully and uh, get Max back here in the next few days. Uh, it'd be better if it was sooner than that, <laughs> to tell you the truth. It's a little tense. But uh, I'll be broadcasting a few more videos. Uh, have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com